Okay, YouTubers, today we are out at Lower Monroe Truck Trail. Uh, me and my husband. This is a pretty uh, fun trail for us. We've done it before a couple times. It's like a 7.46 mile climb up and a 7.46 mile descent, which is pretty fun. So uh, this will be a fun nothing really technical just uh fast and fun and so you get your workout in you're in that downhill and so we'll show you points of interest along the climb and uh the descent all right i'll check in with you later all right so this is how the trail starts out single track has a little bit of technical in the beginning lots of rocks which is cool to hit on the way back when you got some more speed but uh Nothing in the main descent is technical. All right, YouTubers, just a note that this area is usually full of water when it's uh, the wet season, so it can be hard to get across if it's just rain, so I don't recommend coming out here right after a rain. So water can be running pretty hard. Thank you. I'm right there. I'm gonna see if I can get across it. As you can see, we're doing a nice low grade climb. It's around 5%, not bad. Has some punchier sections though, especially as you get closer up top. So just be prepared to throw it in a low gear and spend a lot of time there. Take your time. All right, guys, here it is. We finally made it to the top. So this is the gate. And somewhere on the other side of the, the parking area there, it continues on if you wanted to do another eight miles, if you're that crazy. <sighs> All right, we are on the way back. We're gonna have one little climb. Well, one ugly little climb. But everything else is downhill. So not much to see here. And so I'll show you the more interesting downhill. bit of a downhill get some speed to carry me on that yucky uphill that we're gonna come to it is super cold right now too Temperature really dropped on us. Brought some windbreakers, thank God. That was a good call. So here's our ugly hill. Got the wind blowing on me real good. Jesus. Whew. Thank you. 
control there. Here's the ugly hill. There we go. And not too bad, I guess, actually. The climb's out of the way. Should all be downhill from here. I'm gonna have to take it a tad easy because we do have hikers and bikers on this trail up and down, so. I don't want to have to ride with a bell and annoy you, so I gotta keep an eye out. Oh. Mm, thank you. Thank you. One behind me. Thank you. Thanks. Top of the world. I didn't get to hit this at high speed like I was hoping. <laughs> Came up on me too quick. Ah, oh, I should have launched that.
You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> Thank you. So if you're not gonna run a bell, then you need to watch out for hikers up here. My husband has the bell on, but for the sake of videoing, I don't, but I keep my eye out ahead. I didn't show you on the way up. This is about the two and a half mile mark. stupid bike. <laughs> Garmin, I should say. Momentum anymore. Oh man.
Hubby needed a pee break. Skirted that edge way too much there for comfort. Thank you, I have one behind me. It's tempting. Too sketchy a place to do a jump though. was the first trail that clued me in on the fact that I love chunk and that's like my thing. This whole area really got me excited.
So keep in mind if you ever come out and do this trail, there are the water crossings in these areas. Um, it's been dry so long though recently that nothing, which is rare. Sure, I can hear my husband back there. That's good. I don't like to get too far ahead. I don't know if he has a problem or something. One thing I did find out about the upper Monroe truck trail is that it goes down from up there. It doesn't continue up. So you get up there, there's, you can head back down this or head down that if you have a vehicle parked over there. So that's about it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is lower Monroe truck trail. is a fun road for people so be careful all right catch you on the next video guys peace